Well, um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about something I, I love quite a bit. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm mostly going to be doing the talking. I've got my assistant here, though. Um, here's the deal. In the late, in the late 90s, um, Pokemon, or Pokemon, um, were, were released on American children. Peace! Just like that. And, um, and the impact they had was, was heavy. For the first time, uh, suburban white American children were dealing with monsters! They were dealing with monsters in their pockets! That's right, they were dealing what they had in their pockets. Pocket monsters! They were peddling them in Zenders. elementary schools. They'd, eventually, Pokemon cards were banned in some schools because kids would steal $50 from their grandma's Hey, you want to try some? Let's have it! Not for crack. For mm. Pokemon. Pokemon. But like a like a, a, a Pidgeotto would be traded for for a war turtle. <laughs> to me... You take the flying point and you trade them for water blasting and it's better trade up so you have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that, that'd be the logic. That'd be the logic there. Some kids would think it was different. Or you trade a Caterpie for $3. You don't want a Caterpie because you don't... Because it's not going to get very far. Because well, they suck. It's not fully evolved yet. It's a bad trade, even for money. Pretty awful. Now, I got sucked into this when I was younger. Fortunately, I never, I never did pay money that might actually belong to my parents for, for Pokemon cards. Um, but it was tempting. It was tempting. Um, one time, one time, I took his money from his bank that he didn't know about. He didn't know that I took his money, <laughs> and I took it, and I bought myself a new pack of cards, and I, and I, <clears throat> and I took them to school, and I opened the pack in front of my friend at recess, and the day was, you know, what inside. So, I look at the shoes. What are you guys doing? Don't even. Do that. <laughs> 